Hey everyone, just a quick one today. I wanted to visualize my answer to James's question here. So basically, how I chose to make this grid is I grabbed Pasha. It's probably the Glovedine one. I just changed the type here to ellipse, and then I made the biggest circle I could. Actually, no, even bigger than that. I think it was like that before it started getting, yeah. You can see, like, it turns red there. That means I reached the maximum size. So I made this. It's the maximum size. I, I'm holding shift. I click here to get rid of the little nubs at the end. And there we go. So I used this as a reference to make the bigger square. And I just put the roads around it. So if I were to show you some empty space. It's pretty much this. I make it. And then I just put roads around it like this. Yeah, so that's how I made the squares. That's a bit scuffed, but you, you get the idea. And the second part was how I decided what to put inside a block. Well, basically what I did was I got some houses, right? I left some room in between to put like wells and stuff. And I was like, okay, there's 120 people here, because that's 30, 60, 120. So you got to think about the services, right? So a single well like this, it says 12, but it can actually service a whole bunch of people, because they, they don't all need the wells at the same time, if that makes sense. If we click over here, says here that this has a capacity of like 24. A rough estimate of how many subjects can be served. And then the load there is really important. So the load is only 41%, the highest load of the service during a day. Once full, it means there aren't enough services. So it's only 41%, meaning, meaning what I've got here currently is excessive. That's all you really need to watch out for. Yeah, as you can see, this one's 17%, so... This one's completely unnecessary. It's the same with the other services, like the toilet. If I click here, it says the load is 50%. If you look at the food stall, this one is 71%. It's close to the highest load. So yeah, I just put like... Put a food stall next to the housing, right? So I don't have to walk far. And I put a market stall. Also, the speaker as well, it has 50 services, the 60 people living here, so you need at least one speaker for the housing block, right? For the hearth, it's literally just that. You just click on the item and then hover over this, or you can even just hover over this and it'll say 35.4%, so you don't need too many hearths. Now with the benches, so I said some stuff about well-placed benches helping with the environment need. So this guy's having a break, right? If we hold right-click, it says right there. There's 100% lighting there, 100% roundness, 100% urbanization, and 80% harmony. So this Quaternion actor here, Violet, is getting their environment needs fulfilled right now. Obviously the bench, because they're sitting on one. Lighting, because they're right next to a torch. Roundness, because the buildings are round. And then harmony, because there's like trees and flowers right next to them as well. If you put the benches in the right spot and your people sit at them, they'll have all of these needs fulfilled rather easily and you won't have to spread out decorations everywhere. Even though it does look a lot better when you do that. And then I said, the only thing is I spread out are janitors. So janitors, they have a radius like this. As you can see, it's like blue. So you need to spread them out to provide a wide coverage, right? Otherwise, you'll have maintenance problems. So let's take a look. These red spots, that's stuff that needs to be maintained. As you can see, the majority of the city it's been doing very good on maintenance because I've been spreading out the janitors. There's a bit of stuff here, but that's probably from the fight. 
So a fire pit of this size can service approximately 1,300. As you can see in the brackets there. The problem is, if it's too far, then the proximity is pretty low. But it turns out I only need one. Yeah, I only need one. Because it's not that far from everybody, I guess. Now if we look at bigger buildings, like this grand arena, this thing is... I think its radius is the entire map, pretty much. So you only need one. And I'm not sure, but I think the bathhouse might be the same. So what I mean is you can pretty much put the Grand Arena and a bathhouse somewhere central to your town, like probably right here in my case, or like down here somewhere, and it'll cover the entire map. Like they'll be happy to walk in from the outskirts to get to it and stuff. Now finally, if I, I probably clickbaited this right here. This was, uh, this tool here was, I was made aware of this by my good friend Fiend. I actually saw these before in a, an example city. I think it was called like Ethamel or something. And I was like, oh, how do you do this? I couldn't figure it out. So yeah, I thought it was flaming me. Um, uh, but turns out, yeah, I was just trolling. <laughs> I was the one trolling. So I'm going to, let's do that real quick. Just to see how it looks. Probably gonna crash the game. It messed up some of the roads, but I think overall the walls look way better. So thank you, Fiend. Authorized by Ocean Man of Oceania.